is an Italian professional football club based in Florence, Tuscany, Italy. Founded by a merger in August 1926, and refounded in August 2002 following bankruptcy, Fiorentina have played at the top level of Italian football for the majority of their existence. Only four clubs have played in more Serie seasons. Fiorentina has won two Italian championships, in 1955-56 and again in 1968-69, as well as six Coppa Italia trophies and one Supercoppa Italiana. On the European stage, Fiorentina won the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup in 1960-61 and lost the final one year later. They finished runners-up in the 1956-57 European Cup, losing against Real Madrid, and also came close to winning the 1989-90 UEFA Cup, finishing as runners-up against Juventus after losing the first leg in Turin and drawing in the second one in Avellino. Fiorentina is one of the 15 European teams that played the finals in all three major continental competitions, the Champions League, the UEFA Cup winners and the UEFA Cup. Since 1931, the club have played at the Stadio Artemio Franchi, which currently has a capacity of 43,147. The stadium has used several names over the years and has undergone several renovations. Fiorentina are known widely by the nickname Viola, a reference to their distinctive purple colors. 1940-41 Fiorentina team Associazione Calcio Fiorentina was founded in the autumn of 1926 by local noble and national fascist party member Luigi Ridolfi, who initiated the merger of two older Florentine clubs, CS Firenze and PG Libertas. The aim of the merger was to give Florence a strong club to rival those of the more dominant Italian football championship sides of the time from northwest Italy. Also influential was the cultural revival and rediscovery of Calcio Fiorentino, an ancestor of modern football that was played by members of the Medici family. After a rough start in three seasons in lower leagues, Fiorentina reached the Serie A in 1931. That same year saw the opening of the new stadium, originally named after Giovanni Berta, a prominent fascist, but now known as Stadio Artemio Franchi. At the time, the stadium was a masterpiece of engineering, and its inauguration was monumental. To be able to compete with the best teams in Italy, Fiorentina strengthened their team with some new players, notably the Uruguayan Pedro Patron, nicknamed El Artillero. Despite enjoying a good season and finishing in fourth place, Fiorentina were relegated the following year, although they would return quickly to Serie A. In 1941, they won their first Coppa Italia, but the team were unable to build on their success during the 1940s due to World War II and other troubles. The first Italian champion Fiorentina in 1950, Fiorentina started to achieve consistent top five finishes in the domestic league. The team consisted of great players such as well-known goalkeeper Giuliano Sardi, Sergio Servido, Francesco Rossella, Guido Gradin, Giuseppe Chiapella and Aldo Scaramucci but above all, the attacking duo of Brazilian Juliño and Argentinian Miguel Montuori. This team won Fiorentina's first Scudetto in 1955-56, 12 points ahead of second-place Milan. Milan beat Fiorentina to top spot the following year but more significantly Fiorentina became the first Italian team to play in a European Cup final, when a disputed penalty led to a 2-0 defeat at the hands of Alfredo Di Stefano's Real Madrid. Fiorentina were runners-up again in the three subsequent seasons. In the 1960-61 season, the club won the Coppa Italia again and was also successful in Europe, winning the first Cup Winners' Cup against Scottish side Rangers. After several years of runner-up finishes, Fiorentina dropped away slightly in the 1960s, bouncing from 4th to 6th place, although the club won the Coppa Italia and the Mitropa Cup in 1966. Kurt Humreen scored 150 goals for Fiorentina when he represented the club 1958-1967. This means that he is in 2nd place for most goals in the club's history while the 1960s did result in some trophies and good Serie A finishes for Fiorentina, nobody believed that the club could challenge for the title. The 1968-69 season started with Milan's frontrunners, but on match day 7, they lost to Bologna and were overtaken by Gigi Rivas Colliery. Fiorentina, after an unimpressive start, then moved to the top of the Serie A, but the first half of their season finished with a 2-2 draw against Varese, leaving Colliery as outright league leader. The second half of the season was a three-way battle between the three contending teams, Milan, Colliery, and Fiorentina. Milan fell away, instead focusing their efforts on the European Cup, and it seemed that Colliery would retain top spot. 
After Cagliari lost against Juventus, however, Fiorentina took over at the top. The team then won all of their remaining matches, beating rivals Juve and Turin on the penultimate match day to seal their second, and last, national title. In the European Cup competition the following year, Fiorentina had some good results, including a win in the Soviet Union against Dynamo Kiev, but they were eventually knocked out in the quarterfinals after a 3-0 defeat in Glasgow to Celtic. Viola players began the 1970s decade with Scudetto sewed on their breast, but the period was not especially fruitful for the team. After a fifth-place finish in 1971, they finished in mid-table almost every year, even flirting with relegation in 1972 and 1978. The Viola did win the Anglo-Italian League Cup in 1974 and won the Coppa Italia again in 1975. The team consisted of young talents like Vincenzo Guarini and Moreno Raghi, who had the misfortune to suffer bad injuries, and above all Giancarlo Antognoni, who would later become an idol to Fiorentina's fans. The young average age of the players led to the team being called Fiorentina Yee. In 1980, Fiorentina was bought by Flavio Pontello, who came from a rich housebuilding family. He quickly changed the team's anthem and logo, leading to some complaints by the fans, but he started to bring in high-quality players such as Francesco Graziani and Araldo Pecci from Torino, Daniel Bertoni from Sevilla, Daniel Massara from Monza, and a young Pietro Vierschaud from Como. The team was built around Giancarlo and Tognoni, and in 1982, Fiorentina were involved in an exciting duel with rivals Juventus. After a bad injury to Antognoni, the league title was decided on the final day of the season when Fiorentina were denied a goal against Cagliari and were unable to win. Juventus won the title with a disputed penalty and the rivalry between the two teams erupted. The following years were strange for Fiorentina, who vacillated between high finishes and relegation battles. Fiorentina also bought two interesting players, El Pantro Ramon Diaz and, most significantly, the young Roberto Baggio. In 1990, Fiorentina fought to avoid relegation right up until the final day of the season, but did reach the UEFA Cup final, where they again faced Juventus. The Turin team won the trophy, but Fiorentina's Tifosi once again had real cause for complaint, the second leg of the final was played in Avellino. A city with many Juventus fans and emerging star Roberto Baggio was sold to the rival team on the day of the final. Pontello, suffering from economic difficulties, was selling all the players and was forced to leave the club after serious riots in Florence's streets. The club was then acquired by the famous filmmaker Mario Secchigori. Gabriel Batistuta, the most prominent Fiorentina player of the 1990s the first season under Secchigori's ownership was one of stabilization, after which the new chairman started to sign some good players like Brian Laudrup. Stefan Effenberg, Francesco Baiano and, most importantly, Gabriel Batistuta, who became an iconic player for the team during the 1990s. In 1993, however, Sekigori died and was succeeded as chairman by his son, Vittorio. Despite a good start to the season, Sekigori fired the coach, Luigi Redis, after a defeat against Atalanta, and replaced him with Aldo Agrappi. The results were dreadful, Fiorentina fell into the bottom half of the standings and were relegated on the last day of the season. Claudio Ranieri was brought in as coach for the 1993-94 season, and that year, Fiorentina dominated Serie B, Italy's second division. Upon their return to Serie A, Ranieri put together a good team centered around new top scorer Batistuta, signing the young talent Rui Costa from Benfica and the new world champion Brazilian defender Marcio Santos. The former became an idol to Fiorentina fans, while the second disappointed and was sold after only a season. The Viola finished the season in 10th place. The following season, Sekigori bought other important players, namely Swedish midfielder Stefan Schwartz. The club again proved its mettle in cup competitions, winning the Coppa Italia against Atalanta and finishing joint third in Serie A. In the summer, Fiorentina became the first non-national champions to win the Supercoppa Italiana, defeating Milan 2-1 at the San Siro. Fiorentina's 1996-97 season was disappointing in the league, but they did reach the Cup Winners' Cup semi-final by beating Gloria Bistritza, Sparta Prague, and Benfica. The team lost the semi-final to the eventual winner of the competition, Barcelona. The season's main signings were Luis Oliveira and Dre Kinchelskis, the latter of whom suffered from many injuries. At the end of the season, Ranieri left Fiorentina for Valencia in Spain, with Secchigori appointing Alberto Malassani as his replacement. Fiorentina played well but struggled against smaller teams, 
although they did manage to qualify for the UEFA Cup. Malassani left Fiorentina after only a season and was succeeded by Giovanni Trapattoni. With Trapattoni's expert guidance and Batistuta's goals, Fiorentina challenged for the title in 1998-99 but finished the season in third, earning them qualification for the Champions League. The following year was disappointing in Serie A, but Viola played some historical matches in the Champions League, beating Arsenal 1-0 at the old Wembley Stadium and Manchester United 2-0 in Florence. They were ultimately eliminated in the second group stage. At the end of the season, Trapattoni left the club and was replaced by Turkish coach Fadi Terim. More significantly, however, Badi Stuta was sold to Roma, who eventually won the title the following year. Fiorentina played well in 2001 and stayed in the top half of Serie A, despite the resignation of Terim and the arrival of Roberto Mancini. They also won the Coppa Italia for the sixth and last time. The year 2001 heralded major changes for Fiorentina, as the terrible state of the club's finances was revealed, they were unable to pay wages and debts of around 50 million US dollars. The club's owner, Vittorio Secchigori, was able to raise some more money, but this soon proved to be insufficient to sustain the club. Fiorentina were relegated at the end of the 2001-02 season and went into judicially controlled administration in June 2002. This form of bankruptcy meant that the club was refused a place in Serie B for the 2002-03 season, and as a result effectively ceased to exist. The club was promptly re-established in August 2002 as Associazione Calcio Fiorentina e Florencia Viola with shoe and leather entrepreneur Diego Della Valle as new owner and the club was admitted into Serie C2, the fourth tier of Italian football. The only player to remain at the club in its new incarnation was Angelo Di Livio, whose commitment to the club's cause further endeared him to the fans. Helped by Di Livio and 30-goal striker Christian Regano, the club won its Serie C2 group with considerable ease, which would normally have led to a promotion to Serie C1. Due to the bizarre Caso Catania, however, the club skipped Serie C1 and was admitted into Serie B, something that was only made possible by the Italian Football Federation. His decision to resolve the Catania situation by increasing the number of teams in Serie B from 20 to 24 and promoting Fiorentina for sports merits. In the 2003 offseason, the club also bought back the right to use the Fiorentina name and the famous shirt design, and reincorporated itself as ACF Fiorentina. The club finished the 2003-04 season in sixth place and won the playoff against Perugia to return to top-flight football. Cesar Prandelli, the club's longest-serving manager in their first season back in Serie A. However, the club struggled to avoid relegation. Only securing survival on the last day of the season on head-to-head record against Bologna and Parma. In 2005, Della Valle decided to appoint Pontaglio Corvino as new sports director, followed by the appointment of Cesar Prandelli as head coach in the following season. The club made several signings during the summer transfer market, most notably Luca Toni and Sebastian Frey. This drastic move earned them a fourth-place finish with 74 points and a Champions League qualifying round ticket. Tony scored 31 goals in 38 appearances, the first player to pass the 30-goal mark since Antonio Valentin Angelillo in the 1958-59 season, for which he was awarded the European Golden Boot. On July 14, 2006, however, Fiorentina were relegated to Serie B due to their involvement in the 2006 Serie A match-fixing scandal and given a 12-point penalty. The team was reinstated to the Serie A on appeal, but with a 19-point penalty for the 2006-07 season. The team's 2006-07 Champions League place was also revoked. After the start of the season, Fiorentina's penalisation was reduced from 19 points to 15 on appeal to the Italian courts. In spite of this penalty, they managed to secure a place in the UEFA Cup. Despite Tony's departure to Bayern Munich, Fiorentina had a strong start to the 2007-08 season and were tipped by Italian national team head coach Marcello Lippi, among others. As a surprise challenger for the Scudetto, and although this form tailed off towards the middle of the season, the Viola managed to qualify for the Champions League. In Europe, the club reached the semi-final of the UEFA Cup, where they were ultimately defeated by Rangers on penalties. The 2008-09 season continued this success, a fourth-place finish assuring Fiorentina's spot in 2010's Champions League playoffs. Their European campaign was also similar to that of the previous run, relegated to the 2008-09 UEFA Cup and were eliminated by Ajax in the end. 
In the 2009-10 season, Fiorentina started their domestic campaign strongly before steadily losing momentum and, and slipped to mid-table positions at the latter half of the season. In Europe, the team proved to be a surprise dark horse, after losing their first away fixture against Lyon, they staged a comeback with a five-match streak by winning all their remaining matches. The Viola qualified as group champions, but eventually succumbed to Bayern Munich due to the away goals rule. This was controversial due to a mistaken refereeing decision by Tom Henning of Rebo, who allowed a clearly offside goal for Bayern in the first leg. Bayern eventually finished the tournament as runners-up, making a deep run all the way to the final. The incident called into attention the possible implementation of video replays in football. Despite a good European run and reaching the semi-finals in the Coppa Italia, Fiorentina failed to qualify for Europe. During this period, on September 24, 2009, Andrea Della Valle resigned from his position as chairman of Fiorentina, and announced all duties would be temporarily transferred to Mario Cognini. Fiorentina's vice president until a permanent position could be filled. Former manager Vincenzo Montella. In June 2010, the Viola bid farewell to longtime manager Cesar Prandelli, by then the longest-serving coach in the team's history, who was departing to coach the Italian national team. Catania manager Sinisha Mijlovic was appointed to replace him. The club spent much of the early 2010-11 season in last place, but their form improved and Fiorentina ultimately finished ninth. Following a 1-0 defeat to Chievo in November 2011, Mijlovic was sacked and replaced by Delio Rossi. After a brief period of improvements, the Viola were again fighting relegation, prompting the sacking of sporting director Pontalio Corvino in early 2012 following a 0-5 home defeat to Juventus. Their bid for survival was kept alive by a number of upset victories away from home, notably at Roma and Milan. During a home game against Novara, trailing 0-2 within half an hour, manager Rossi decided to substitute midfielder Adam Lijajic early. Lijajic sarcastically applauded him in frustration, whereupon Rossi retaliated by physical assaulting his player, an action that ultimately prompted his termination by the club. His replacement, caretaker manager Vincenzo Guarini, then guided the team away from the relegation zone to a 13th place finish to end the turbulent year. To engineer a resurrection of the club after the disappointing season, the Della Valle family invested heavily in the middle of 2012, buying 17 new players and appointing Vincenzo Montella as head coach. The team began the season well, finishing the calendar year in joint third place and eventually finishing the 2012-13 season in fourth, enough for a position in the 2013-14 Europa League. The club lost fan favourite Steven Jovetic during the middle of 2013, selling him to English Premier League club Manchester City for a €30 million Euros transfer fee. They also sold Adam Lijajic to Roma and Alessio Cersei to Torino, using the funds to bring in Mario Gomez, Josip Ilicic, and Antti Rebic, among others. During the season, Fiorentina topped their Europa League group, moving on to the round of 32 to face Danish side Esbjerg FB, which Fiorentina defeated 4-2 on aggregate. In the following round of 16, however, they then lost to Italian rivals Juventus 2-1 on aggregate, ousting Fiorentina from the competition. At the end of the season, the team finished fourth again in the league, and also finishing the year as Coppa Italia runners-up after losing 3-1 to Napoli in the final. In 2014-15, during the 2015 winter transfer window, the team club sold star winger Juan Cuadrado to Chelsea for €30 million Euros but were able to secure the loan of Mohamed Salah in exchange, who was a revelation in the second half of the season. Their 2014-15 Europa League campaign saw them progress to the semi-finals, where they were knocked out by Spanish side Sevilla, the eventual champions. In the 2014-15 domestic season, Fiorentina once again finished fourth, thus qualifying for the 2015-16 Europa League. In June 2015, Vincenzo Montella was sacked as manager after the club grew impatient with the coach's inability to prove his commitment to the club, and was replaced by Paolo Souza, who lasted until June 2017 in the appointment of Stefano Pioli. Club captain Davida Story died suddenly at the age of 31 in March 2018. A story had suffered a cardiac arrest while in a hotel room before an away game. The club subsequently retired a story's kit number, 13. Fiorentina suffered during the 2018-19 Serie A campaign and ended the season on a 14-match winless streak, finishing in 16th place with only 41 points, 3 points from the relegation zone. On April 9, 2019, Piley resigned as manager and was replaced by Montello on June 6, 2019, 
The club was sold to Italian-American billionaire Rocco Comiso for around 160 million euros. The sale marked the end of the Della Valle family's 17-year association with the club. Vincenzo Montella was confirmed as coach for the first season of the new era despite the team's poor end to the previous campaign, which saw them finish only three points clear of the relegation zone. Fiorentina continued their struggles from the previous year, spending the majority of the season in lower mid-table. Montella was sacked on 21 December after a seven-match winless run which left the club in 15th place, and was replaced by Giuseppe Iascini. In November 2020 Cesar Prandelli returned to Fiorentina, replacing Giuseppe Iascini as coach. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Fiorentina have had many managers and head coaches throughout their history. Below is a chronological list from the club's foundation in 1926 to the present day. The badge used by Florentia Viola the official emblem of the city of Florence, a red fleur-de-lis on a white field, has been pivotal in the all-round symbolism of the club. Over the course of the club's history, they have had several badge changes, all of which incorporated Florence's fleur-de-lis in some way. The first one was nothing more than the city's coat of arms, a white shield with the red fleur-de-lis inside. It was soon changed to a very stylized fleur-de-lis, always red, and sometimes even without the white field. The most common symbol, adopted for about 20 years, had been a white lozenge with the flower inside. During the season they were Italian champions, the lozenge disappeared and the flower was overlapped with the Scudetto. The logo introduced by owner Flavio Pontello in 1980 was particularly distinct, consisting of one half of the city of Florence's emblem and one half of the letter F, for Fiorentina. People disliked it when it was introduced, believing it was a commercial decision and, above all, because the symbol bore more of a resemblance to a halberd than a fleur de lis Today's logo is a kite-shaped double lozenge bordered in gold. The outer lozenge has a purple background with the letters AC in white and the letter F in red, standing for the club's name. The inner lozenge is white with a gold border and the red fleur de lis of Florence. This logo had been in use from 1992 to 2002, but after the financial crisis and resurrection of the club the new one couldn't use the same logo. Florence's Comune instead granted Florentia Viola use of the stylized coat of arms used in other city documents. Diego della Valle acquired the current logo the following year in a judicial auction for a fee of 2 euros. 5 million, making it the most expensive logo in Italian football. Gabriel Batistuta holding his old Fiorentina jersey at a 2014 ceremony inducting him into the club's Hall of Fame when Fiorentina was founded in 1926, the players wore red and white half shirts derived from the color of the city emblem. The more well-known and highly distinctive purple kit was adopted in 1928 and has been used ever since, giving rise to the nickname La Viola. Tradition has it that Fiorentina got their purple kit by mistake after an accident washing the old red and white colored kits in the river. The away kit has always been predominantly white, sometimes with purple and red elements, sometimes all white. The shorts had been purple when the home kit was with white shorts. Fiorentina's third kit was first worn in the 1995-96 season and it was all red with purple borders and two lilies on the shoulders. The red shirt has been the most worn third shirt by Fiorentina, although they also wore rare yellow shirts in a sterling version, mostly in the Coppa Italia, in 2001. For the 2017-18 season and the first time in its history, the club used five kits during the season, composing of one home kit and four away kits, each one representing one historic quartier of the city of Florence, all blue. All white, all green and all red. Canzone Viola is the title of the Fiorentina song, nowadays better known as O Fiorentina. It is the oldest official football anthem in Italy and one of the oldest in the world. Dated 1930 and born only four years after the creation of the club, the song was written by a 12-year-old child, Enzo Marcaxi, and musically arranged by maestro Marco Vinicio. It was published for the first time by the publisher Marcello Manni, who later became the owner of the rights. It soon achieved notoriety thanks to the printed media and the Ordine del Marzacco, a sort of original viola club, which printed the lyrics of the song and distributed it to a home match on November 22, 1931. 
The song was recorded by Narciso Parigi in 1959 and again in 1965, the latter version replaced the original edition as the Fiorentina anthem. Subsequently, Narciso Parigi himself acquired the ownership of the rights, which he donated in 2002 to the supporter club Colitivo Autonomo Viola. Serie A Serie B Copa Italia Supercoppa Italiana Serie C2 European Cup, UEFA Champions League UEFA Cup UEFA Cup Winners Cup Copa Grasshoppers Mitropa Cup Anglo-Italian League Cup AC Fiorentina SP. A was unable to register for 2002-03 Serie B due to financial difficulties, and then the sports title was transferred to a new company thanks to Article 52 of NOIF, while the old company was liquidated. At that time the club was heavily relying on windfall profit from selling players, especially in pure player swap or cash plus player swap that potentially increased the cost by the increase in amortization of player contracts. For example, Marco Rossi joined Fiorentina for 17 billion lira in 2000, but at the same time Lorenzo Calacchioni moved to Salernitana for 1 billion lira. Meaning the club had a player profit of 997 million lira and extra 1 billion lira to be amortized in 5 years. In 1999, Emiliano Vigica also swapped with Giuseppe Tagliolatella, which the latter was valued for 10 billion lira. The operating income of 2001 season was minus 113,271,475,933 Italian lira. It was only boosted by the sales of Francesco Toldo and Rui Costa in June 2001. However, it was alleged they were to transfer to Parma for a reported 140 million lira. The two players eventually joined Inter Milan and AC Milan in 2001-02 financial year instead, for undisclosed fees. Failing to have financial support from the owner Vittorio Secchi Gori, the club was forced to wind up due to its huge imbalance in operating income. Since re-established in 2002, ACF Fiorentina SP. A are yet to self-sustain to keep the team in top division as well as in European competitions. In the 2005 financial year, which cover the first Serie A season, the club made a net loss of €9,159,356, followed by a net loss of €19,519,789. In 2006, Fiorentina heavily invested on players, meaning the amortization of intangible asset had increased from €17.7 Euros. million to €24 million. Euros. However the club suffered from the 2006 Italian football scandal, which meant the club did not qualify for Europe. In 2007 Fiorentina almost broke even, with a net loss of just €3,704,953. In the 2007 financial year the TV revenue increased after they qualified to the 2007-08 UEFA Cup. Despite qualifying to the 2008-09 UEFA Champions League, Fiorentina made a net loss of €9,179,484 in 2008 financial year after the increase in TV revenue was outweighed by the increase in wage. In the 2009 financial year, Fiorentina made a net profit of €4,442,803, largely due to the profit on selling players. However it was also offset by the write-down of selling players. After the club failed to qualify to Europe at the end of 2009-10 Serie as well as lack of player profit, Fiorentina turnover was decreased from 140 euros. 040,713 in 2009 to just 79,854,928 euros, despite the wage bill also falling, La Viola still made a net loss of 9,604,353 euros. In the 2011 financial year, the turnover slipped to 67,076,953 euros, as the club's lack of capital gains from selling players in 2010 financial year still included the installments from UEFA for participating 2009-10 UEFA Europa League. Furthermore, the gate income had dropped from €11,070,385 to €7,541,260. The wage bill did not fall much and in reverse the amortization of transfer fee it slightly increased due to new signings. La Viola had savings and other costs but counterweighted by huge €11,747,668 right down for departed players, due to D'Agostino, Frey, and Mutu. But the former would counterweight by co-ownership financial income, which all made the operating cost remained high as worse as last year. Moreover, in 2010 the result was boosted by acquiring the asset from subsidiary and the revaluation of its value in separate balance sheet. If deducting that income, 
2010 financial year was net loss 24,342,208 and 2011 result was worse with 8,131,876 euros only in separate balance sheet. In 2012, the club benefited from the sales of Madi and Nastasic and Valen Barami, followed by Stephen Jovatic and Adem Liagic in 2013. In 2014, due to 28 euros. 4 million drop from the windfall profit of selling players, the club recorded their worst financial results since refoundation. despite the fact the club maintained the same level of windfall profit, the result was still worse than in 2013. Moreover, Fiorentina also revealed that the club had a relevant football net income of minus 19 euros. 5 million in the first assessment period of UEFA financial fair play regulations in the 2013-14 season which within the limit of minus 45 million euros, as well as minus 25 euros. 5 million in assessment period 2014-15. However, as the limit was reduced to minus 30 million euros in assessment period 2015-16, 2016-17 and 2017-18 season, the club had to achieve a relevant net income of positive 5 euros. 6 million in 2015 financial year. La Viola sold Juan Cuadrado to Chelsea in January 2015 for €30 million euro fee, to make the club eligible to 2016-17 edition of UEFA competitions. Thanks for watching.